Good morning, guys. Welcome. Good morning, guys. I get all the famous things. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Own it. There's some of I'm awkward too. A lot. I'm awkward. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Nothing more awkward than a plant in your face. But welcome to today. And today's gonna be great. How do you know today's gonna be great? You're asking. Well, I dreamed. I dreamed it. You guys. I live by dreams and signs. Signs that God sends. And this is how I live my life. I realize it's a bit different than how other people live their lives. But that is how it happens for me. And last night. I dreamed, I dreamed that we rescued something. I'm like, get up, hurry up! There's something out there waiting for us! Right there. Yeah, I think it's a cat or a kitten. I think it's a kitten. I couldn't see it very clearly in my dream. All I knew was that we were setting up all the rescue stuff. Like, we have stuff. We have stuff we always do. Like, we set up a big thing for that baby mouse. But there's something out there today that is waiting for us. I believe it. I dreamed it. And then... A kitten and a kitten small. I don't want any more cats. I woke up saying, I do not want a cat, God. I do not want any more cats. And then, as I got more awake, my heart started to get excited. And I was like, we're going to rescue something! Are you excited? So then I came downstairs and I had my coffee and I was watching my phone and I got the three signs. I tell you guys all the time that I always wait for God to tell me something that's going to happen. And if I see something, I take note of it. And then if I see it again, I'm like, wait a minute. If I see this one more time, then I know that it, God's telling me something. I saw three stories. They just kept popping up on my phone about people rescuing animals. I'm like, get up! <laughs> Get up, kids! We gotta go! There's something out there waiting for us to rescue it. And uh, the thought of it being freezing cold or wet or needing us just breaks my heart. So we're gonna get up. We're gonna go right now and go out there and see. Oh. Okay, what? Okay, so you go out that room through the kitchen to that door and go out there. And it's like a little room that you that we keep all the chicken food and stuff. And I keep hearing running and screaming. Because I'm a little chipmunk. <laughs> we better not be rescuing the chipmunk. Ruby! Ruby, leave the cat alone. I think it's all excited. Get it, 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 get it. No. Get it, get it. Oh, Ruby. Look at Ruby. Yeah, Ruby will find it. Ruby. Find the cat. Found him. Found him. Ruby's looking at something. No, Ruby hears something. Him. <laughs> we found him! We found a kitty! In the hole. Why are you in the hole? Hendrix, are you watch? Maybe there's something underneath him. The hard thing about dreaming things that are gonna happen is that you never know when it's gonna happen. You don't know if it's gonna be today or tomorrow or when it's gonna happen. So you're always looking around and you're always alert and waiting. Unless you see what clothes you have on. What do you mean? Like in your dream. You oh, yeah. Happen. That's good. Well, when I dreamed it, it was dark and dreary outside. So, that could be. Hey. No, hey, pretty girl. Where's our other pretty girl? You guys ready for breakfast? They're like, heck yes. Bring on the food. Horses means watching them every single day. It means noticing every single change because they can't talk and because they're so prone to injury. I know Stella does not like those pads in her feet. I can tell by the way that she walks. I know when she rides, she rides okay. I have to wonder if those pads are what made her trip so badly with me. And um, yeah, she's looking a little tiny bit thinner. She's been holding her own all week and then everyone, like, some horses are just so up and down like it's just it blows my mind the ponies just keep getting chubbier and Stella goes up and then down make sure that the ponies don't get too fat I have to always watch to make sure Stella doesn't get too thin or too fat the boys kind of hold their own Finn is the kind of horse that would get too fat Storm is the kind of horse that pretty much moderates himself yeah they're all different just like we are all different <laughs> You know 
what dad said? He let Finn go out when we were alone. When dad was alone, he took Storm to the field and opened Finn's door and let Finn wander out to the field himself. Should we do oh, that? let's do that. No, do you know what Finn did? What? He did not wander out to the field himself. He stood in the doorway and peeked out. <laughs> I'm trying that. No, no, no. Come on, I do but not I'm want... Guessing. No, no loose horses. No horses on the loose. <laughs> so he just had to go back. And... Yeah, he had to go back and get him anyway. He's like, I'll just wait here for you. Because he's not a brave boy, are you, Finny? You're not a brave boy. Ruby's on the hunt. Go to the bathroom. Find it for us, Ruby. Whoa! That's the kind of horse that Gabby needs. One that just wants to jump. We're here. We're at Horde Station. We're at the sales barn. And I should say that sometimes when I dream stuff, it doesn't happen till the next day. It doesn't happen till usually later in the week, usually within four or five days. So I don't know if we're gonna see cats today. I don't even know if it was a cat. All I know was that as I was waking up, I saw us with our cage and all of our rescue stuff out and me saying to the girls, just let it move, just let it, just let it move. And it was something. And I woke up thinking maybe we're gonna like do something with one of our chickens was gonna need us, some help, some care, or, but I just had the weirdest feeling it was a cat. So let's go in and let's see what happens. We're trapped, you guys. It's all flood zone. So now we're going back this way. Gabby's leading us the way. Good job, Gabby. There's dogs down there. Puppies. Are they puppies? Yeah. These are puppies. Oh, they look like they look like Christmas puppies. Oh, two different kinds. Oh, they're adorable. What kind are they? Oh. So cute. That one's like, get this coat off me right now. <laughs> He's like, I don't care about anything about getting this thing off. Yeah, his sister's helping her. All right, so now we're in a debate. On, now they told them my dream. They're like, we're gonna rescue a puppy. I'm like, no, it was a kitty. I want a kitty now. I do not want a puppy. Oh. Remember Bella? He's, they're gonna turn out exactly like Bella. Pray, pray for me that I don't get home, come home with a puppy. What happened? Oh, some cow just tried to jump out. Aw, imagine being that scared that you want to jump out. I felt the whole building shake though. We should get off this balcony. <laughs> Scary. Oh god, here it goes. Here's a bowl. <coughs> that's what see, that's what I mean. Boys are crazy. Don't you do anything. <coughs> he might be He's one. gonna break his neck. Or break us. 
Hopefully it's his leg. <laughs> Freak cow, but. We rather your leg than your neck. No, oh, he'd rather his leg than us. I'm gonna say no for the puppy. Because we have too much, no, we have too much going. We came home, we went to the grocery store, we came home and this is what we saw. Don't ever let it change. Do you guys see it? Yeah, we keep going. He's about to roll. I don't want to be rolling. No, he's rolling the other way. You guys, this is pure love. This is pure <laughs> love. Are you excited, Gabby? Like getting to cuddle your don't horse? You dare <laughs> Finn. Before. Finn's kind of like the awkward guy. He's like, let me, let me rub your back. Yeah, I don't know. One day, one day we'll get to that. You guys, our horses are leaving December the first. <laughs> Uh oh, careful, Sophie, don't move too fast. Gone, gone. It's true, our horses are leaving December 1st. It's oh. already in the works. We've Get already planned it. December the 1st, our boys are leaving, and it breaks my heart because having them home and people, some of you guys are like, how can you do that to your horses? It's horrible, but it's the only way we're going to be able to keep them in shape and ride them, and hopefully the move pluses. Away, Sophia. It's okay. Oh, he almost laid down. I know. He looks like he's gonna lay down. He's like, you guys are annoying me. <laughs> I love he's gonna him. Don't roll. Don't roll. He's gonna roll on <laughs> Don't roll on me. <laughs> he's such a spoiled boy. Because <laughs> he moved his other foot. Now he's gonna roll over onto his side. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> handsome. I feel like they, he just trusts us so much and just loves us so much and now we're going to betray him because the first few days he's there he's not going to understand. We're going to have to go every not single like day. Finn. Not like Finn? We're going to have to go every... yeah. And there, he <laughs> there he goes. Oh, <laughs> You're amazing Stormy Boy. Back like that. Look at all that big mess he made of his hay. No. Oh, did we interrupt your nap? I'm so sorry. 
starry, stormy. Am I gonna go as soon as Sam gets home from work? I'm, we're gonna go to the track store and we're gonna buy him some Farrier's Friend. It's a supplement. It's really good for him. It does him wonder. Tomorrow we're gonna go for lessons and it works fast. I think you have slobber on, slobber on your back. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? I proudly wear the fin slobber on my back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, my ear dead. You I like, I love him too. And even though you don't know how it all works yet, we're good. When there's no one to blame, I'm not letting it fade. So don't go looking for reasons, asking for change. We got good things coming. Put your faith in me. That goes up there with one of those amazing moments that you may never get in life, and we just had it. Uh, just so, so amazing. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.